Hi, what is going on? It's Styler here, and in this video, I'm going to show you Cyanogen Mod 12.1. It's based on Android 5.1.1, and uh, this is for the Yumi Zero. And uh, Yumi actually told uh, in the past that uh, it was not possible to port uh, Android 5.1 to the Yumi Zero, but this ROM here is also not official, so it's um, developed by some independent uh, users, and um, I'm going to show you how the ROM looks like in the beta version right now, and um, just remember that this is a beta and far from the final version yet, but the developers are working hard on to fix the most critical uh, bugs. So uh, I just want to make this video here to show you how the current beta version looks like. So let's get on with the video. So here you see the lock screen. So this is typical for Lollipop. And we also see I'm on the network here with E+. Let me also shortly show you the audio effects app. This one here is included in the ROM. Here you can change the sound, just like an equalizer. And here you can see the light in the buttons. Okay, let's have a look at the UI and let me show you the scrolling speed. So you notice that it's very, very smooth here. Very nice and fast, very snappy. Let's check here in the app drawer. Same here, very nice animation. Try to add a widget. And um, I had a small accident with my Yumi Zero and uh, I broke the touch buttons. Somehow they are not working anymore. Actually, the, this is a, an engineering sample, an early one I got last year. So it's not uh, functioning 100% anymore. I had some accidents and uh, I actually also disassembled it sometimes. So uh, that's why I'm using here the easy touch you see here in the corner here for the home, back and menu. So I'm going to show you this video using this because as told my touch buttons are not working anymore. So uh, let's have a look what we else have. When I click here, we can click here and we have the search bar for the home screen settings. We have scroll effects, icon labels, grid size, layout, page or vertical for the drawer, app drawer. Let me just show you that here. We can go into the app drawer. Now it's like a list and you can also hear very fast scroll. We have the widgets, of course, so this is also very smooth. We have the wallpapers. Let's see in settings. So the settings are a little bit too bright. Let me turn down the brightness. Hopefully you can see it now. So here we have wireless, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, SIM cards. These are very stock. We have the sound. SIM 1 and SIM 2, notification tone, other sounds, vibration on touch. Let's have a look inside display and lights, brightness level, adaptive brightness, live display, rotation, double tap to sleep on the status bar. We have here wake on plug, LCD, de density. So this one here you can change. Right now default is 480 dpi. We see this here, so this is very important for the overall performance of the device. You can change this uh, to different uh, DPI and um, the whole display will appear uh, bigger or smaller. And let me try to double tap on the status bar. 
can see it will lock the screen. And let's see, we have themes, so support for themes, you can get more here inside the Play Store. We have style icons, wallpapers, theme packs, lock wallpapers, boot animation. Let me see what we else have, notifications, we have here the lock screen, password, pin, pattern or swipe, buttons, so backlight for 5 seconds, let's try to have a look inside, so here you can set the seconds. We have the power button, end call for example, home button, wake up the device, long press and so on. So there are a lot of different settings for the buttons. Then we have the battery, security, system profiles. We have the status bar, clock style right or center. You see it's in center now. We see also the battery percentage. We can set this inside the icon or next to the icon like this. You can see it now or hidden. Circle style, text, icon, but I like this circle. Brightness control, so you can slide in the top here to, to change the brightness, you see now it's more dimmed and now it's brighter here, so that's also a nice feature. Let me just turn a little bit down, yeah, and notification drawer, pull down quick in the side, if you do in the center it will not pull down quick as you see. We have the apps. Let's see the warning, the RAM usage. So right now 590 megabyte of RAM is used for the system, 211 megabyte is used for the apps, free is still 1.1 gigabyte of RAM, so I would say that's fine. Then we have the normal accounts, we have privacy, we have the location, date and time, accessibility, storage, so the storage is one big internal storage on 13.26 gigabyte but of course you can also add uh, the SD card and uh, in this ROM here the, it will use the SD card for games so if you have a big game it will actually be installed on the SD card. Let's see in language and input, multi-language everything is supported here. And we just then have backup and reset, printing and about phone. So in about, let's see, we have here the build number, build date, kernel version, baseband and Android version. And we see it's the 5.1.1. So the Cyanogen mod updates, I uh, don't think this will work, but you can see it's also included in the settings. System info, we also see something here. Let's check out the Android version. Lollipop. So uh, that's it for the settings. And uh, included in the ROM we have the FM radio, we have the audio effects, the music player, we have support for themes, we have the Play Store, we have camera working. Let me just show this here. And uh, for some camera samples I shot outside, please have a look below in the video description, I will add the samples there. But let's just see, you have the settings here and I believe we can do like this. See the settings, resolution and quality, so this one is set up to 19.7 megapixels in 4 to 3 screen, but you can also use uh, widescreen, then it's down to 14.7 megapixels, but this is of course interpolated. What is not working right now in this version uh, I'm using here in the video is the video recording, so you can see the uh, video is only QVGA, and um, that's something they are still working on to fix. Let's see in advanced, you can set the power shutter button, so the power button will be a shutter. So as long you follow the guide and uh, flash the gaps and um, the Super SU, then the phone, uh, the ROM here will be pre-rooted when you turn it on and you will find the Super SU uh, app here. So let's see here, speech recorder. That's also something I haven't seen before, not really sure what this is. Let's have a look inside the quick toggles. These are 
pretty stock. Let's see the auto rotation animation that confirms this is real Android 5.1.1. Let's have a look on the dialer. See the dialer here. And let's try out a test call. Proximity sensor is working. Okay, so that was the sound from the ear speaker. And let me show you here the reception and the Wi-Fi. You can see the Wi-Fi is okay. And my network reception is also in full. So overall, very good reception and Wi-Fi speed. There are no kind of problems with this ROM. And uh, here you can see the information inside NT2 benchmark. So we see here the Yumi Zero, we see it's Android 5.1.1 running in 32-bit of course because this is the u using the MTK6592 SOC so this one is of course not 64-bit but 32-bit and uh, let me just scroll further down to this part and again confirmed 5.1.1 Android version SDK version 22 and uh, here you can see the anti 2 benchmark score that I got 31,000 so that's a very good score let's just see I can scroll here and uh, we can see it's over the HTC one below the G3 let me just see the details see them here let's get back Okay, so I just installed here the GT Racing 2 game, so let us try it out. Okay, so uh, overall you can see that the performance, the gaming performance is excellent with this ROM here, no lag at all, very smooth and fast. So uh, a very smooth and nice uh, ROM for the Yumi Zero and uh, I think it's a really nice thing to see that some people are developing and converting the Android 5.1.1. Cyanogen uh, mod 12.1 to the phone because uh, that way we uh, still can use this phone here for a lot of nice things and um, Yumi themselves uh, said it was not possible to make uh, Android 5.1 to the phone but now we see that some independent uh, developers are doing this and it's just great and um, I'm looking forward to see the final ROM with hopefully fewer bugs because right now there are still some uh, different bugs in the ROM and um, I'm sure they are working hard to fix the, the box and uh, soon there will be new updates, new releases so just stay tuned on the Need ROM or on uh, Yumi's uh, forum and uh, you will see the newest release there 
Remember also to check out my blog and uh, if you find any box on, on this ROM here, if you're going to try it out and test it yourself, then please comment below with the box uh, or you can go to the Yumi forum and post the box there because the developers are going to take care of any box that you find. So um, that's it for the video and uh, if you have any questions, please comment below, give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.